Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about how to choose Chinese vinegar. In Chinese national standards, shi cu, uh, often translated as Chinese vinegar, it has to be made with the fermentation process. This is to differentiate from the vinegar uh, flavored seasoning, which is made with uh, like a different uh, chemical compound to render this tartness flavor. The key index to measure the quality of the Chinese vinegar is the total acid number. It has to be at least over 3.5 gram per 100 milliliter. And for a vinegar to call it premium quality, the total acid number has to be over 6 gram per 100 milliliter. This is the number you can usually see on the label of the vinegar. There are two most uh, popular types of Chinese vinegar. One is called Lao Chen Cu. It's very popular in the north. It's from Taiyuan in Shanxi province. The other type is Xiang Cu. Zhenjiang Xiang Cu is from Zhenjiang in Jiangsu province. Compare the two, Lao Chen Cu would be more potent in the taste, uh, more tart. While well, Zhenjiang Xiang Cu is uh, softer in the taste, while well, in the fermentation process, we put a little bit of sugar in. Uh, you know, in the cells, we like, we like to put a little bit of sugar in various dishes to soften the taste, not necessarily to taste the sweetness. And the raw ingredients of these two types of vinegars are different. Lao Chen Cu is usually made with Gaoliang and Mai Fu, while uh, Zhenjiang Xiang Cu usually made with uh, Nuomi, glutinous rice, and uh, Da Mi, uh, regular rice. Chinese vinegar is a key ingredient in Chinese cooking. Every family has it. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, obviously, it adds that tart, tart taste to the dishes. It can help reduce the intake of salt because our brain become less sensitive and less reliable on salt when there is the taste of the tartness there. We also use that in small quantities and different uh, ways to either enhance the aroma of the dish or as the complexity to the taste, or sometimes with the ingredients uh, like fish or other like meat, we use vinegar to kill that fishy aroma or the fishy taste. But those would be more uh, subtle use. Like you wouldn't taste the whole dish as a very tart dish. In terms of uh, storage, uh, Chinese vinegar itself is antibacterial, so it's totally fine to put in room temp for six months or a year, it should be fine. But if you really only use a little bit and it takes a long time for you to use up a bottle, I guess it's not a bad idea to put that in the fridge too. When the vinegar sits there for a long time, you will notice that at the very bottom there's those black uh, settlements there. Uh, those are not only totally fine, but very beneficial. There are tons of good chemicals from the fermentation process in those settlements. So be sure to shake it, uh, just integrate that well with the whole uh, liquid. Hope this is helpful for you. See you next time.